Welcome back people of YouTube. Today what I have is my fuel breather or fuel vent or whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, mine got clogged and was only working one way. So I'm going to show you how to take it apart and clean it so you can get it working again or you can check if it's totally broken. So yours is going to be in one piece that looks like this. I already cleaned mine off a little bit so you can see. But on the inside, I already took this off to give you a little bit better of a view. There are little tabs that are indented and basically grab on to the lip on here. So all you have to do is get, um, I used a bunch of different bits and I put them in between the two pieces of plastic to get that little notch out, but that'll come straight out. Once that pops out, then you're going to have something that looks like this. Once you have this, you just reach in here and you can pop it out. If you can't pop it out, get yourself a screwdriver and come in like this and pop it out. There we go. Now that's popped out. This is what you're going to have. You're going to have this green piece here. You're going to have your spring. And on the inside, you're going to have the actual little breather piece. The rubber end goes towards the bottom like that, and the top end has a little tiny spring on there. You can see that. That's going to be so it can go either in or out. But I already cleaned everything up. And uh, I just want to let you guys know how to take this thing apart and put it back together. And uh, I'll just show you real quick uh, where it's located. So ideally, this needs to be able to breathe in and out. So if your tank builds up too much pressure, it can release it. And when you're filling it, it can release it. And it also needs to get pressure inside when you're running. So it needs to go both ways, but it needs to have that uh, rubber piece on the inside that keeps it basically close at all times until pressure needs to go one way or the other way. So if you breathe into this and you can only breathe one way, which was my problem, I was building up too much pressure, you should be able to breathe into this and breathe out to this. And it should be something like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get out. So back here at the rear of your vehicle, put the light under there. We're going to slide underneath here, and if you look up here next to your spring, that's where it's going to be located. It's going to have its own little designated clip. Let me get a little bit closer. There it is. That's where the hose is supposed to be plugged into it, and that little bracket right there where it sits into it. And that also goes up to all of your other fuel lines. If you watched my other video, then you know exactly where this is at because I changed my uh, my pump so this is right under the car right next to the wheel